Hello, uh, so this is a tutorial that's going to show us how to actually add to our mobile application iOS and Android the capability of connecting using Cognito users, Amazon Cognito users and uh, we don't want to code any screen inside the application so we are only going to use a hosted UI. So first of all we're going to go to AWS console and then once we log into AWS console we are going to go straight to Cognito we're gonna go to manage user pool uh, make sure that we are in the correct region in my case I'm in Canada so I'm using Canada uh, Central 1 so first create a user pool we're going to call it my app users Sure, it's my app users. Gonna review default. Not gonna change anything. Create user pool, and then after that, we're gonna go to app client setting. And from app client settings, we're gonna go to summary, and we're going to add an app client, app an app client, and the app client name will be my app client. and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to uncheck the generate client secret because I'm only gonna have one app client and then create app client so I can see right away that I have my client ID that I'm gonna need after that uh, when I'm going to create the uh, applications uh, the mobile application I will need to specify which client ID I'm actually using and the other thing I'm going to need it's a domain name so I'm going for now using the domain name from Amazon Cognito so I'm going to call it Moo Mobile Mobi is in mobile and uh, save change it went fine so the other thing that I need to do, I need to say that uh, this client, my app client, is using Cognito user pools. I also need to specify which callback that I'm going to be using inside the client's app. In this case, it's gonna be, for example, my app client. This is my app actually, so you know that it has nothing to do with the actual name of the client so my app and callback so this is the callback at least they are going to be used from the mobiles and same thing here it can be something else but I want to use the same my app but this time I want to call sign out just to make sure that I don't keep this space right here and allowed our flows I'm going to check authorization code grant email open ID connect and profile probably the most important is the open ID connect open ID sorry we are going to save change so now that I, I am done I can actually test it by using this hosted UI let's just click right here so it's fine it's working I can log in I can click on uh, forgotten password and sign up but the only thing that I want to add for the sake of the tutorial I want to actually show my logo right here so let me go back here and this is done UI customization yes okay so this is done <laughs> this is done in uh, UI customization you just choose a file and the file that I'm going to use for my logo is this one and uh, save change so let's uh, give it a go launch hosted UI nice so I have my logo and I still have my form to log in right here so after that you have to follow the next tutorial when I'm going to show how to connect using iOS and then Android.